brief update. Um, first, let me recap. So this morning at 722, uh, police officers were called to uh, an address on Ivy Street, at 600 block of Ivy Street. Upon arrival, um, they met with uh, Ms. Brianna Williams. Ms. Brianna Williams said that she got up this morning, noticed that her back door was unlocked at her house. And um, when she checked her daughter's bedroom, uh, looking for little Taylor, Taylor was, was actually gone. Um, so what we've been doing throughout the day, we've, we've been searching several different locations. Locations, we've, uh, we've been around here, one square mile um, out from where we are now in each direction, searched several hundred houses door to door. Um, we also have searched an area um, out on Southside Boulevard. It's a previous address for Ms. Williams. Um, in the event that somehow Taylor found her way back that, in, in that direction. We, we uh, are currently still searching that area um, for, in hopes that we find Taylor. Um, Taylor is the most important thing here right now. We are very concerned, but we are going to search and we will continue to search throughout the night uh, in, in hopes of finding uh, locating Taylor. And with that, I'll answer any questions that you may have. Do you believe that she is with any relatives, friends, anyone right now? We have actually, to be honest with you, no idea. Um, we ho we're hoping she's not alone. And if she, and, and, and we hope that if, if she is with a family member or a friend, we're begging, we're asking that you would reach out to us at 630-0500-911. Um, just give us a call. Let us know that Taylor's safe because that's our biggest concern. That's correct. Yes, we will. Chief, where is the mother right now? The mother is still cooperating. As a matter of fact, the entire family is cooperating with us as we speak. They're cooperating. Are they downtown at police headquarters right The now? mother is. Do you believe this disappearance is, is suspicious in any way? I'll tell you this way. We are going to invest this, investigate this case, and we're going to be very thorough in how we do it. Um, we're going to investigate it, and we're not going to rule anything out. Um, we're going to check all angles. Um, at this point, we're still concerned about Taylor and we will continue to look for Taylor because we want Taylor at home alone, I mean, at home safely. What exactly brought JSO to the South Side location? Through investigation, our investigation led us to an, uh, another address for, a previous address for Ms. Brianna Williams and uh, Taylor. It's been several hours since she disappeared. Are we starting to see this uh, shift, the, the nature of this search shift? From the very beginning of this investigation, we approach these investigations um, in a manner that would help us to be able to determine whether it is foul play in the long run. Um, as, as it stands right now, because of her age and we have not found her, we are concerned, but uh, we're going to continue to look because uh, she's missing and we think she may be somewhere alone. We want to make sure we try to find her. Chief, you said that the mother is downtown and she's still cooperating. How long is since this morning. Since this morning. That's Is correct. she there with an attorney? No, she's there by herself. Can you talk about the manpower and resources used for this search? We have approximately 121 officers here um, at this location, um, FDLE, uh, the FBI, motor units, I'm sorry, uh, mounted units, um, drone units, our, our air unit, and 64 other officers out at the apartment complex off Southside Boulevard. Is mom downtown as a uh, person of interest? Mom is downtown as a mother that's concerned for her daughter and we're looking for her. That's why she's there now. There was a vehicle towed from the uh, residence earlier today. Is that, does that have any connection to this case? Yes. So we are taking, we took that vehicle because we want to make sure that we process every vehicle and everything involved to make sure that there's, that, that let's say we cover every base. We're completely thorough. We want to make sure everything is done and everything is ruled out. Is there something specific about that car? Not specifically yet, no. You saw a dive team searching in what appears to be a retention pond. Is that connected to this search? The, yes. So naturally, in what we noticed, in, in, in my experience, that children, unfortunately, are drawn toward water. Um, we want to rule that out also. We, we, we want to make sure that Taylor's not in any body of water. We also saw a dumpster being towed away or, or followed by JSO away from, I believe, the Southside complex. Can you talk about what you were searching for? Again, a part of a very thorough investigation. Did something lead you to that dumpster? In a situation like this, Joy, is it's 
it's very important, again, that we, we look at all angles, um, vehicles, um, dumpsters, um, everything that, you know, a five-year-old, maybe we don't make sure she can crawl into a dumpster. We want to make sure that nothing's in there that belongs to her, that nothing's in there that somebody may have put there. So, uh, again, we're ruling everything out, but we're being thorough. So, at this point, you still consider this a missing person's case? We still consider it a missing person's case, yes. One more question. The father, is there a father uh, that you Yes, we, to? we have been in contact with the father. And where is he? He's out of state. He does not live in Jacksonville. Who else was inside the home when she was That's it. I'm done, right? Okay. That's it.